Well, all this time on the campaign trail makes for plenty of fodder for comedians and TV hosts. One of them was in Youngstown tonight speaking at the Senefani Annual Symposium at Stamba Auditorium. 27 First News reporter James Santelli talked with him tonight, talking politics and a lot more that's new at 10. And Erica, W. Kamal Bell doesn't shy away from talking about politics and race. In fact, it's a huge part of his stand-up act and his CNN show, The United Shades of America. And as I found out, he's certainly willing to crack a few jokes about this presidential campaign. I think the entire election is a car crash through tar fields. <laughs> like, so. <laughs> if you think this election's become a joke, it's a joke W. Kamau Bell is willing to make. Just don't get him started on Donald Trump. He's a troublemaker. <laughs> like, he's just like, if, if he was a kid, you'd put him in the dunce's chair. Like, he's just, he's a troublemaker, and I think he is having a good time making a lot of trouble. And I'm not even sure he actually wants the job. Then there's the intersection of race and Hillary Clinton's campaign when she said last week half of Trump's supporters are racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. I asked Bell, who tours the country talking about race in his comedy act. It wasn't long ago that Irish people were considered white, Italian people were considered white. If he thinks Clinton is right. <laughs> I'm on the news talking about Hillary Clinton like, like I always dreamed. Uh, <laughs> I think there are a, certainly a core of Trump supporters. They've branded themselves the alt-right who are all those things. Bell's at Stambaugh Auditorium for the evening, but he lives in the San Francisco Bay Area. So we had to ask about another San Francisco guy, Colin Kaepernick, and Bell's opinion about the quarterback kneeling for the national anthem. Bell grabbed a chair. I, I sit with Kaepernick, and I also throw up the black power fist to make it clear. This is how I feel about Colin Kaepernick. I'm with you, brother. Clearly not afraid to make a joke. And no. Erica, one thing Kaepernick has talked about uh, is wanting to spark a discussion about race in America. W. Kamau Bell, he's much the same way. He says when, whether you love his comedy, whether you hate his comedy, he wants to start that discussion between people who see his shows. Yeah, and it seems like that's always done better when there's a little bit of laughter involved. And if you don't know, James is actually our resident comedian. So did <laughs> oh, you get a on. chance to like laugh with him and put out one of your jokes too? I, I, <laughs> I did. He was, he was talking actually to a group of uh, police academy trainees okay. beforehand, and they had a little Q&A. There was some joking back and forth. And you might think, well, that's a good way to you know bridge the gap between yeah. the African-American community sure. and the police community is with a laugh. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, James. You got it.